on the never-ending list of jobs to do on this vehicle, uh, I thought we'd do an electrical job that's kind of common. The heater doesn't work. So, what do we do when the heater doesn't work? Well, we could actually go through the fuse box and stuff like that, but I know that these heaters in here are quite common for the fans to seize up, the blower, the blower itself. And because it sucks water, down here now, sucks water through here, it gets sucked into here somehow because usually the little vents all blocked up at the bottom, the water trap. Um, yeah, the, the, the motor just gets seized up. I can't say simpler than that. But without taking everything to bits, how are we going to find out? Well, what we're going to use today is our power probe. That's right, it's a power probe. It's a handy dandy thing, but you don't always need it, but I'm using it because I've got it. I don't know if I like it or not. Anyway, under here, um, there we go. Under here is a two pin connection. We're not interested in this three pin one here which is actually goes to your switch on your on your dash we're interested in this little chap down here now one of the things that I like to collect over the years is these type of things these plugs where are you there there you are I collect all sorts of things oh dear me I'm not going to edit this out I collect all sorts of things like this and put them on crocodile clips principally because it's easy to put a clip on like that then mess about with probes and things like that. Just unplug it, like this, look. And plug this one directly into the fan. Why is that, Mike? Well, the other wires go to the resistor. There's actually a resistor here that could be blown or broken. But this goes direct, those wires there go directly to the blower. Hmm. Fancy that. So now, I'm going to connect that to there. Out. There we go. Put volts down it and it doesn't melt. It does nothing at all. Let's swap the wires over. It doesn't really matter which way you put the wires on these because it's uh, left and right, it doesn't matter. Out. Now what we're going to do? <laughs> well, that's that was the shortest video ever, I think. Um, yeah, the heat, the, the blower's uh, seized up. Well, we might as well test it a little bit further and see how far we get because I'm gonna I'll take the cover off the top of the wing just to prove that. Might as well do. Might as well. You might as well get your money's worth. Right. Uh, let's get this off now. That was a really little simple test, but what I'm going to do is do a physical test. I've taken the grill off here and I'm going to, I'm going to go in deep. I'm like the AI man if you're a farmer. Let's get in there. That's stop it. That's me trying to turn the fan. That was trying to make contact. It's completely seized solid. So you see, it was a good test, wasn't it? So what you could have done in effect we started to take down all the dashboard and all the switches and getting all confused and drinking and then what that, that leads to cocaine and then it leads to ketamine, all sorts of stuff. Whereas it's only the heater that's seized up. So, but the problem is, how do we get it out and how do we fix it for free? Okay. So I'm going to take the heater out and the worst part about the heaters on the Defenders as you know, the two bolts at the top, easy peasy. But they put two bolts underneath, which is a nut and a bolt from inside. So there's a, two bolts inside and two coming down this way. It's a pen in the bottom. Now, on these right-hand drive cars, it's not so bad because we can put some vice grips, mole grips on the head of the bolt to grip it. But if you've got a left-hand drive car, over there, the heater's over there, and it's got AC unit in it, you have to take all the AC out to get to the fan. So, 
Let's do it. Let's let's get on with it. Oh, by the way, I, f I forgot to send those clips out. I'm going to send those out. I, 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 I was supposed to send them out to Bill. Um, right, so... Oh, man, there's so much to take off. So to get the heater out, we've got to take this trumpet out. We've also got to take this washer bottle off, which isn't too bad because he wants a new one anyway. A new fans. And we can see it's half been out. Uh, we've got to take those out first because we've got to slide this trumpet forward and hidden in, he hidden in here are two screws. I shall remove them. There's one screw that's in. A little tiny one. And not so tiny one. A seized one. Well, that's fun, isn't it? That's a good start. Let's get that out. And then we can, I'll take this off, take this off. Uh, just trying to think if I can get the heater out without taking the pipes off. Um, we'll see. Right, I got those uh, screws out of there. The, the trumpet is nice and free. But we've got to take the washer bottle off, the, the screen wash bottle. And it's not just as simple as taking these two bolts out of here, because there's one underneath that's buried. So we've got to take the washer bottle off. Kind of easy, really. Try not to lose the nuts. You said tapping them away. Oh, it's been off before, because the washers are missing. Yeah, it's been off before. Let's take that off and put our fingers over the end of the bolts just in case there are washers. Oh, surprise, surprise, there's a washer, there's a washer on there. And there's one stuck onto there. That's not our issue. We'll swing that out the way. And now we can get to this bolt that's down here. We'll take that off. Take that off. We'll put it onto the... Try and get in the habit of putting the nuts back onto the studs. take off this nut at the top because there's only one that comes missing. Turn it up like that, put the bolt in and you can see now why they didn't put that nut in. Wait a minute, let me put this in, try to do two things at once. You see why they never put it in because it's come off its uh, clip thing. These are hopeless. I don't know why they never just put a, a regular captive nut in, but I, I suppose that the uh, the thread, the the machining was so bad that they've made a little slot thing so these can move around. I'll do that later because it's taking up time. Time's money. So we put that back in its hole down there, and now we should be able to take this trumpet out. And then there's this bit that's absolutely useless. And then we can see the fanny heater down here. Oops. I'll, get, I'll get thrown off with that. Can you see the blower? Maybe, maybe if you go down this way. I don't know. Can you see that? Can you see the blower in there? No, oh, I don't know. Let's put it back over here. Probably you can't see it anyway, but it, believe me, it is in there. Oh, not another customer. Hang on. Back in a tick. Well, that was interesting. It was uh, an Amazon delivery on a Saturday morning. Right. Yeah, we've got to take the heater out of this. Um, 
two bolts at the top here and two little bloody tiny nuts under here. I don't know why they couldn't do them captive. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll get some vice grips, mole grips or these type of grips onto the nuts underneath. Like that, and we'll try and take them off from the inside. And we'll try not to disturb the coolant because there's two pop rivets here and there's two at the back that we can't get to. Let's see how we come on with that. Right, so <laughs> forgot to turn the camera on. I'll have to do this again. I've backed off uh, this little clip here, took that off. It goes in this corner of the top wing support bolt. Take that out. That allows the cables to back off a little bit. You can see what I mean, those, those cables. And then we've got to take these bolts off here. They are a bit tricky. And of course, being, <laughs> being a British Leyland car, if you're ever familiar with British Leyland cars, they put the longest bolts in possible. <laughs> now I can't pull this out quite like a left hand drive heater, it's uh, the left hand drive ones were a lot better for some reason, I don't know why. But these are on slots, the heaters, but I don't think, I, you know, like I said, I'll try and back this one off. The nice thing is about these top bolts is they're never sort of rusty, they never get rust up here, so <laughs> I think it's the only place that doesn't. I'm going to have to take those bolts out completely because I'm jammed against the fuse box here and I'm jammed against the uh, inner wing support here. Back in a tick. Right, with the bolts out, will it come out? Is anybody else's holding this in? Nothing. Oh, I'll tell you what it'll be, that sticky pad thing that's on there. before we break it. There we go. Out. Yeah, you see the seal here had given up. Resistance is useless. Now, let's take my test lead off. Uh, I don't want to take the whole heater out. I don't want to take the whole heater out. So what I'm going to do is uh, try and drill out the pop rivets and um, take that unit out because I don't want to disturb all the pipes and bits and pieces and the cables and Lord knows what. I think when I put this back in I'm going to clean out all this African poo in here. And I'll also take off the fuse box to put it back in again. I think that might be a lot easier and give me a bit more space. It's on two little clips. As you can see, I don't really work on it. That's out the way. Yeah, there's two little plastic clips and lift off the fuse box. Um, right, let me drill this piece out and I'll come back. The nice thing about these impact guns. You can get a set of drills that's already that's clips in. What will they think of next? Is that one? A bit of a 
structural bit of a rivet still under here. There we go. And that should come out. And of course we've got on these ones, we've got an additional bracket nut under here. Oh, in fact we've got two. Ah, damn it, we isn't it? Really it right? Oh no, there's just one there. What's that, 8 mil? All this not to take, not all this not to uh, disconnect the hoses. Well, that snapped off. No fear. I'm gonna put a, put a screw. We'll, we'll repair that once it's off. God help us! It's full of rubbish. See? Once again, you can see, look, it don't turn. So, what we're going to do, we're going to try and free it off without taking it to bits because, generally speaking, the place where it always seizes is here. Now, I'm thinking with a, if I can drill a hole in here like I usually do. Because this housing is the housing for the bushing. I can drill a hole through there at the top, then I should be able to put a little bit of oil in, penetrating oil, and get this to go. Should we try? Well, it's going to save a fortune on the heater, isn't it? Well, you missed me moment of glory. I've drilled two holes in, and I put a bit of crown, uh, crown rust proofing in the holes because the, the nozzle will go in. So I drilled a hole here and here. This is going through the bush, which is not acceptable. But I'm going to have to get a hammer and tap that a bit. Actually, I just spied out the corner of my eye the needle gun here. with these things is it's getting the fan off here to extract it. I'm going to take those little uh, bolts off here, these nuts, I'll put a bit of penetrating oil on them, or crown. See if we can get the motor out. Right I've got the motor off and now I've got some more purchase on here. I'll just give it another squirt because it doesn't matter if crown gets into Everywhere it works out quite well. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, where's my uh, connector? Look, you can see this. Look at. Can you see all the muck that's come out of it? Look. Look, it's filthy, isn't it? See that? Ooh. Ooh. This might be a dead one. I bet you it blew. I bet you it blew the fuse. That is really tight, eh? Um, let's give it another shake. <laughs> Whoa, 
slow. Let's try it the other way. Trying. Ow. That is tight. Well, maybe we should just leave it for a little while. See if something soaks in. That's really, really tight. Uh, that's rather, rather unusual, they are tight as that. Usually a little bit better than that. You can see that it's not, it's not even spinning, look. So we might have to succumb to another mortar. Mm -hmm.